Hey, what up? Good morning, everybody. It's Katisha Gallishaw. I just wanted to share, um, hop on and share a scripture and a brief reflection. So the scripture this morning, I'm going to a familiar passage. It's in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 of the New Living Translation version of the Bible. Scripture reads, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. All right, so the topic today, the thought uh, extracted from that scripture is declaration of dependence. This morning, we're giving a declaration of dependence. Scripture we just read in Proverbs 3 uh, speaks of fully committing ourselves, fully committing ourselves, spirit, soul, and body, heart, mind, and will, fully committing our entire beings to the Lord, not just intellectually agreeing uh, that his teachings are good and that, you know, God is good all the time and all the time God is good, not just Uh, reciting some rote declaration, um, but depending on God for the direction of our lives. It's um, letting the truth sink, not just in the mind, but settle in one's heart. The scripture says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, not just the mind, but allow that to settle, reflect, take root down in your heart. It's a commitment without reservation. It's a yielding everything. It's yielding your crutch, your comfort, all your qualifications, yielding it all to the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not only that, but there must be a healthy distrust of your own ability to support yourself without God's help. Um, is to acknowledge that we all have blind spots. We don't see and we don't know everything fully. First Corinthians 13 and 12 says, for now we see in a mirror dimly. We don't even see, we just see a reflection. We don't see the whole picture. One day we're going to know and we're going to see face to face. But now it says we just know in part. Jeremiah says in um, chapter 10, verse 23, oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. He says, it's not in man who walks to direct his own steps. Now, man, that is difficult to admit uh, for some leaders, for some bosses, and for some control freaks. That's difficult for us to admit because we're used to making things happen. We live by the adage, if it is to be, it's up to me. We make it happen. We turn lemons into lemonade. We press forward. We push on. But what happens when life becomes unmanageable? And trust me, if you live long enough, it will. And what happens when situation seems unsolvable? Live long enough. Trust me, they will. Proverbs 3 and 6 exhorts us to do what? Seek his will in all that we do. King James Version, y'all know it. It says, acknowledge him in all your ways. It's not just a head nod, just, you know, giving Jesus a head check. Oh, I see you, Jesus. What up? It's not that type of acknowledgement. It's deeper than that. It means to know him intimately, to be fully aware when Jesus is not on the boat. (laughs) When Jesus is on the boat, we can go through a storm. We may go through it, but we're going to get to the other side. But if Jesus is not on the boat, we're not going to make it. So it's acknowledging when he's with you and when you're with him and when he is absent. And if he's not there seeking him, inviting him in to that situation, because he will make our path straight. He'll show you which path to take. That's why I love these early morning hours. Wow, some of y'all are up early. That's why I love these early morning hours because you get to set the tone for the day before the sun rises. We say, today I'm declaring my dependence on the Lord. Today I'm declaring my dependence on the Lord. I'm confidently relying on the Lord to show me which path to take to order my steps. I will reserve judgment 
in the face of uncertainty, I will fully depend on the Lord, spirit, soul, and body, heart, mind, and will. Today, I declare my dependence on the Lord. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that you've given us this opportunity to come to you and that we can fully trust you with our entire being and our entire lives. Today, we are seeking you for guidance. Uh, We know that in our own perceptions, we may be off, but as we acknowledge you, you will show us what path to take. And we thank you that today our steps are ordered by the Lord. All right, y'all, that was just short and brief. God bless you. We know that it's not uh, what we know what makes us grow is what we apply. So I pray that you would take something out of this. And um, as you acknowledge God for your purpose and the plans that he has for you, that you would declare your dependence in him and he will show you which path to take. All right. God bless y'all.